All right, let's get these pills for old mate so he doesn't fucking die. Um, so I believe I had to find uh, the key to actually get into the door. Now where the key is, I have no clue. But we will find it. Hey, I want to chop this up. Oh, well, I can just use the axe. Oh, fuck the key. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bro, Lee, come on, man. It was one hit. Yeah, that was worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. I tell you what, if that was me... I could... Different story, mate. I would have smacked that open. Alright, so... Well, then I guess the key... Is back in here because there's just no keys here. There's no getting in there from out here. Oh, Not really? Great does its job. How you doing, man? You know. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everett's a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess, but that's not me. I'm not giving up, not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. No! Just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? 
I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. It could be anybody, you know? And they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Fucking hell, dog. Seriously. Shut your mouth. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Bro, how can you not see the name tag? Like, I can see it. Are you sweet? Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. I can't reach that brick. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Yeah, I don't know if that's how that well, works, but done, okay. Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got all a few right. of them to take notice. They're all distracted. I'll go get the keys. But not enough. No. Or not. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I can't reach that brick. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Hmm. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Yep. You said that already. Alright, what to do here? I mean, I haven't clicked this. Uh... It's a combination lock. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Oh, fuck's sake, Doug! ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Well, time to use the axe. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Surely Doug can just put his hand out there and reach for it. No? Maybe? Please?
he goes, nothing. <laughs> Oh, they gotta be swarming them TVs. Now's the time. Lee, don't just stand there, man. Run, run. Keep an eye out, will you? moment with his brother. Leave him alone, Doug. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you to take care of him tomorrow, that helped. That really ruined the moment. <laughs> oh, my man's gotta be dead now. Bro, die! Alright, let's get them keys, Lee. Bro, they weren't even turned around. They turned around when Doug screamed at me. Man, that was close. But we did it. That's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's hey. get in there. What can I say? Are you good? You look real nervous. Oh, oh for no. fuck's sake. We gotta hurry. But he had the keys! It's like, that makes no sense the alarm would go off. Rot row. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Bro, you gotta get everyone out of here. Into Fuck the your dad. And barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Right, that door's not locked. That was anymore. badass. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Glenn, we need your help. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I cheated them! 
I should know what? Huh? You said I should know that. Shit. Dog's dying. On it. Are you sure? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go. Oh, God. I found something. Oh, not the cane. I mean, she's got the gun. Dog's kind of pissing me off. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yo, I'm a simp. I'm saving the lady. Excuse me? Bro, fuck this old man. Who does he think he is? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. I'm bashing that old man. Fuck him. Shouldn't have been Doug. It should have been the old man who got eaten. Rest in peace, my boy, Doug. I know you would have done the same. Got to save the children and the ladies first. Guess it's time to go talk to everyone. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. I remember when I packed them up. Goodbye, Glenn. We will meet again. Bro, can that kid in the background shut up? 
Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Did you check the glove box? I swear it I saw it. So awesome. You SPS never pay attention to where you leave things. Gets at, and then goes really fast into the water. It's so Ken, can you oh, just man, look over there? Everything we own would be How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. Like, you know, you know considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? <laughs> I'd rather be alone. Oh, wait, Lee? Like, come on. How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Not like we have much to begin with. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. And then this one time, Derek and Supergiant Shore got ambushed by Squidius. But Derek had an Squidius? Yeah, I'm about to go punch this kid out, man. Oh, man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Are we not going to talk oh, about how that guy that fucking you want to cool left me for dead? Okay, sorry. Not like we have much to begin with. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. So it I can't help us. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine. Oh my god, this kid. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Uh oh. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> Spoke too soon. I 
thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him! This isn't happening! No more, please! No more, please! Lee, please! God damn! What did that miss? What do we got there? Honesty. Lied to her. Yeah, well, you know. 46. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Tells you statistics. Um, who would you save? Duck or Sean? 52. You know what? Now looking back at it, I wish I saved Sean. Fucking Duck is pissing me off. Loyalty side with Kenny. Only 54% defended Kenny. Huh. Give Irene the gun. 53% of players. Who would you save? Doug or Carly. 49. Wow. Cool. I like that.